suspected hoodlums have raised the Obani Market police station in the Bende local government area of Abia State. According to Daily Trust, the armed men invaded the station in the wee hours of Sunday. Hmm. No life was lost in the incident as policemen had relocated from the place days before the incident. It was gathered that the officers working in the station were moved to a location to a station at nearby Trade More Housing Estate. This is the latest attack on a police facility since a campaign of violence was launched in the southeast by gunmen. The Nigeria government has identified as members of the Eastern Security Network, the security arm of the proscribed indigenous uh, people of Biafra. The lives of many security operatives have been cut short in the line of duty since the attacks started. Well, address them properly as terrorist groups, not gunmen. Some are even happy on what is happening now, but let them rationalize the consequences in the near future. In my suggestion, all security formations in the East, South East and South South should swallow pride and apologize to their victims of terrorism, molestation, killings and injustice. With this, it will appeal to their conscience and stop this revenge mission. As I'm seeing this, the unknown gunmen are not ready to drop their arms until they have revenged the death of their loved ones in the hands of the Nigeria security agencies in full. Of course, the, the way everything is going, the last statement is what I really want to talk about here. These people, the more they are <laughs> bombarding the area, the more these people are attacking because we thought maybe they would have, with the way army has been coming and... Uh, during their raid, you know, one would have thought that uh, everything is going to be calm, but these people who are behind the whole thing are bent on 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 not stopping. They are not just ready to stop. When the innocent citizens were crying against police brutality, what were they thinking will happen in future? When Boko Haram started attacking on police, we used to think it was time for the security personnel to pay for their maltreatment of civilians, but at the end. Boko Haram changed their targets by including the v civilians. That was when we realized how idiots we were. I therefore advise our southern youth to be careful and not to admire or encourage the terrorist acts in any way and on, my, on any platforms. Otherwise, it will finally come to them to pay for their support. My advice to the police is that they should resign and stop dying for these politicians. You protect them, kill for them, they get killed why then girls killed why they enjoy their bloody their looted money. Why do you continue serving them when it has become obvious your lives are in danger? And believe me, they don't care about you either. The military and police trained the unknown government. Now they are graduates. They are grossly unpatriotic. They can't even die for their fatherland. Relocated to the north, I guess, so our police won't be on checkpoints collecting bribe as usual. Police never thought of this, and this should serve as a note of lesson to our corrupt politicians. They didn't flee, but relocated days before the incident. Two tribes are agitating for secession. One is more educated and enlightened and using common sense for its own, its own while the other is agitating for its own violently and at the same time seeking for political power to have the presidency and reigning insult on everybody can you see the common sense is not common hmm. maybe when you have been sidelined and denied your fight your rights far too long then you will understand that this particular region is using force to break the bondage you will never lack good things for this your reply <laughs> Maybe when you have been sidelined and denied your right for far too long, then you will understand why this particular region is using force to break the bondage. Well, you too, bro. Enough is enough, Joe. If all things of this are happening, uh, we liberate everyone from shackles of Nigeria. So be it. May God bless your brain. Like, seriously? Uh, one was being killed countless times, but nothing was done about it. You two were being shot dead at the 
at any given time and nothing was done about it. More than 27 men and women were killed in Afaroku Umahia and still nothing was done about it. Military men will deal with you any time, any day, as if you are not a human being and nothing has been done about it. Still, the result of all of those things is what the security agencies are facing today. Well, are you aware that they, that these are people's children? Some of them are only son, the breadwinner of the family, and their only crime was holding flag and going for rally. What did you have to say about this, Mr. Common Sense? This nonsense is getting out of hand. In Southeast, we are not known for this violence and crisis. People behind it should stop it <laughs> like that. Policemen flee when all the security men and women flee the region. Next are the masses. Are they, are they, uh, and where will they flee to? To an unknown destination? The police will continue receiving their package while the masses will be scavenging. Not funny anymore from Onicha to Hiala. No single police or army, no security personnel. What if armed robbers attack people? Who will respond to that? We don't see this in another angle. Someone, somehow, we are endangering our lives and that of our loved ones. Another strategy, I beg. This is not good. Long life, Bihafra. Hmm. Okay, well, this hotel is getting, is getting, is getting twisted. If you ask me. Is getting to this uh, twisted. These unknown gunmen are really serious. Who? Why don't face? Don't you face politicians eating this country and destroying it instead of killing innocent policemen trying to earn a living to take care of their families? Eh? Bikonu, temper justice with mercy, and face those in charge of power that do not want, do not know what they are supposed to do. Since the zoo military police has failed to do the needful. For sure, jungle justice must be needed for justice to prevail because our hopeless and useless politicians are evil, including Nigeria agencies, because they are the one backing the politicians. And honestly, like I said, everything is just getting twisted. And those who are at the top, they are not bothered. They have told them to declare state of emergency on security, but they won't be bothered. Maybe they have a day she, uh, because... We have never seen something that will really shake all these uh, politicians. Just, they just keep or just behaving as if nothing is happening. That's it. 